The trickiest challenge you've ever seen, 12 plus 6 times 2. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, however many people are going to get this problem incorrect, so on my channel Mathematics and in this video I'm going to fully explain you how we can solve this correctly and step by step. So first of all, here is our challenge, here is our option, so I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. What do you think is the correct answer? A, B and C, so choose one option, what do you think is the correct and write your option down into the comment section and I give maybe 95% that you solve this question absolutely, absolutely wrong. So first of all, I want to rewrite this challenge, so we have 12, here is our challenge, 12 plus 6 and times 2. So here is our challenge. And a lot of students solve this question like that, from left to right, they don't care about order of operation, they solve this question absolutely randomly, so we have 12 plus 6, which is equal to 18, yeah, and we multiply this 18 by 2, because we still have this multiplication by 2, which is equal to 36, and we have this and we have this option A. And a lot of students solve this question like that, but I want you to understand that in math we should know what is the correct order to do this problem. So we can't solve this question randomly. We can't solve wherever we have question in terms of math, we can't solve this question randomly. We should know what is the correct order to do this problem, okay? And for this question, for example, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world, and uh, this uh, PMDMC looks like that. We evaluate the expression inside parentheses, okay, this is our first step to evaluate the expression inside parentheses, then we have exponent multiplication, then division, addition and subtraction, okay, so exponent, multiplication, division group, and the lowest priority have addition and subtraction group. So right now let's solve this question according to this PMDMC, and then we will compare this with this 36, maybe 36 is a correct answer, but we will say 100% that correct answer is the next one okay so let's do this so i just want to separate these two solutions so we have 12 plus 6 and times 2. okay pimdmc first step parentheses for me personally i don't see any parentheses so we just we just skip this part exponent what about exponent maybe powers right here maybe cubes squares fourth, fourth power i don't see any of those we don't have any exponents so i just want to skip this part as well Okay, the next step, multiplication division group. Let's scan where we have our multiplication and division sign. Let's look at it. We are right here, we have multiplication sign, so we are interested in this. We have multiplication in, in our expression. We have multiplication right here. And we have uh, division, addition, subtraction, our three last steps. We don't have division. Uh, addition, subtraction group, as you can see, we have this addition sign. Okay, so we have addition only and we have addition and multiplication, okay? So we skip this subtraction. So as you can see, we don't have parentheses, we don't have exponent, we don't have division, and we don't have subtraction, but we have multiplication and division step. As I told before, parentheses has the highest priority and addition subtraction has the lowest priority. So what we should do at first? Of course, we should multiply it first. This is our first, first step because we just go from the top to the bottom and the first step from the top to the bottom is our multiplication and the second step is is a uh, addition okay so let's do this so 6 times 2 equal to equal to 12 with this 12 in the middle so 12 plus 12 equal to equal to 24 okay this is our last step addition of course for for adding for adding this we don't need our order of operation this is really important moment okay so we have our answer 24 and this is really confusing right now because we have our answer 24 we don't have this option but we have this 36 and we have this option and then a lot of students go back to this answer 36 they say that correct answer is 36 and they solve this question like that and say they, they say that correct answer is option option a okay but i want you to understand that in mass we can't solve this question randomly and this is first case this is in this first interpretation we solve this question absolutely randomly because we start from the addition we just do whatever we want and it's really bad in terms of math of course with parentheses this question is absolutely correct because parentheses has the highest priority and now we should add at first 12 plus 6 equal to 18 and then multiplication so then addition will be will have the higher priority than multiplication because addition is inside parentheses okay so first addition then multiplication but with parentheses in our case we don't have parentheses so we just skip this part we reject this option option a which is really good what about this 24 of course this is a correct answer but what about correct correct option right here so we have a b which is obviously not the same as 24 but what about this c for factorial from school you should know that this is a product from one to four so we have one times two times three and times four which is equal to uh, six times four we have 24 so as you can see this factorial this is the same as our 24 which is a correct answer according to this pmdmc order of operation so let's write our answer according to this PMDMC, correct answer is option, 
option C. So according to Premium C, correct answer is 24. According to this test, correct answer is option C. So I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learn something new. And of course, write your suggestion down into the comment section. Write your thoughts about this challenge. Write your thoughts about this solution. It will be really interesting to read about it. So with that being said, see you in the next videos and have a great day.